This video is the most comprehensive guide to efficiently hunting and catching your very own shiny Luma Tentem. In this video, I take you step by step on how to prepare for your Luma hunt and essentially guarantee catching any Luma you encounter using what I call the bait and wait method. This guide helps prevent you from running out of temp cards or whiting out and failing to catch your Luma Temtem. Whether you're a complete beginner or you already know your way around the airborne archipelago, you're sure to learn something that will help you on your quest for your very own Luma Temtem. Put them first in your party and people will stop and stare in envy. I'm Milars, and I've personally caught over two dozen Lumas without having any faint on me or running out of cards, so I know these techniques work. Before we get into the video, comment what Lumas you're hoping to have or already have. I personally really want a Luma Kinu. They're just so pretty! If you end up liking this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. This guide got so long that I ended up having to split it into multiple videos, so if you want to learn more about how to catch Lumas and watch more Tencent content, consider subscribing and clicking the bell to get alerted when those videos are posted. Now let's get into it! First off, what is a Luma? If you come from Pokemon, you probably know them as Shinies. Lumas are extremely rare, alternatively colored Temtem with an added glow that trails behind it when the Luma walks. When sent into battle, they emit a brilliant white flash paired with a shimmering sound effect. Lumas always have a Luma star next to their name in battle as well, so don't worry about not being able to tell if that new Temtem you encountered is Luma or not. Lumas caught in the wild are guaranteed to have three perfect SVs, or stat values, with a minimum of 20 SVs in the remaining stats. This does not include the speed stat, which still remains in the 1 to 50 range. It is important to note that it is far easier to buy or breed an all-perfect Temtem that is not a Luma, so don't go hunting Lumas just for their stats. If you don't know what SVs are, just know that the higher the SV, the better the Temtem is in battle. There is a 1 in 8,000 chance for each Temtem encountered in the wild to be a Luma, with a few exceptions like the Cypark in breeding, which I'll get into in a future video. Now that you know what they are, let's get into how to find one. Step 1. Gathering Essential Items and Temtem You'll need several items on Temtem before you go out hunting to maximize your Luma chances and ensure no mishaps occur when you do find one. The items are the Four Leaf Clover, Decoy, Lure, and some type of temp card, and a lot of them. Grease is also optional. The suggested Temtem to use are Benefactor Kinu, a tanky Temtem, a cage user, and another Temtem to hold the decoy. I explain the items, where to find them, and what Temtem to use and why in more detail in the video linked in the iCard above and in the description below. There are a lot of nuances and exceptions to choosing the right Temtem team, so feel free to pause this video and watch the other video before coming back to this one. Just try not to close this video while you're watching the other one. YouTube doesn't seem to like that. Thank you! Step 2. Setting up your team. Now that you have all the items and Temtem you'll need for Luma hunting, let's put them together! Give the Kinu the 4-leaf clover. Give the tank Temtem the lure to hold. Give the decoy to almost any other Temtem. You can give the cage user grease if you're not confident that your cage user or Kinu can tank hits from an untamed Luma if you're hunting Temtem that are immune to sleep. Fill up the rest of your party with other tanky Temtem if you don't think your tank will last forever. The first and second Temtem in your party should be the Benefactor Kinu and the Temtem holding the decoy. The order of the first two Temtem doesn't matter so long as they're both sent out each encounter. Feel free to give your decoy to a Luma you already have and put it in the first slot to show it off. Step 3. Pick a place and start running back and forth in the grass. There's a little more to it than just finding grass and running in it. Some areas have higher encounter rates and Luma rates than others. For more information on picking your hunting spot, click on the video in the iCard or description below. Step 4. Run. Once you encounter untamed Temtem, run away immediately if the Temtem is not a Luma. Catching or fainting Temtem while you are Luma hunting severely reduces your encounter rate. A lower encounter rate means you have less chances to find Lumas. If your main goal is to find a Luma, just run from encounters. To run quickly, press the 8 key on your computer twice. It's way faster than clicking or using the arrow keys to run. Keep encountering and running away from untamed Temtem until you encounter a Luma. Step 5. Encounter a Luma. 
Once you find a Luma, don't freak out! Okay, maybe freak out a little. Or a lot. But don't press run while you're freaking out. You'd be surprised how many people accidentally run away from the Lumas. Oh, man. It may be tempting to hit the Luma to lower its HP so it's easier to catch. Don't do that! In fact, never, ever, ever, ever hit the untamed Luma with a technique that can inflict any kind of damage, damaging condition, or exhausted condition. This might cause the Luma to accidentally overexert itself and tragically faint from the damage. Untamed and NPC Temtem are coded to never faint themselves from overexertion, so long as nothing else damages them that turn. Our strategy to get the Luma's health low is to let it keep overexerting itself over and over and over again until it's basically at 1 HP. Then we inflict status conditions on the Luma and catch it. I call this Luma hunting tactic the bait and wait method. You bait the Luma with a lure and then wait for it to lower its own HP. This gives us the highest possible chance of catching the Luma using the fewest amounts of cards without risking fainting the Luma. This works with every type of Temtem, with a few exceptions I'll cover in a future video. Follow these next steps exactly. Step 6. The first turn. On turn 1, swap out your decoy Temtem to your tank Temtem. If there is another wild Temtem next to the Luma, use your Kinu to hit the non-Luma. Do not ever target the non-Luma with two Temtem, since you may faint the non-Luma with one Temtem and then accidentally faint the Luma with the other. Step 7. Wait. If there is still a non-Luma next to the Luma, hit the non-Luma with one of your Temtem. Make sure you don't use a move that damages the whole team. Make your other Temtem wait. If there is only the Luma Temtem in the encounter, make both of your Temtem wait. If your tank Temtem's health is low, you may use healing moves or items on your tank Temtem. Repeat this step until the Luma has overexerted itself down to approximately 1 HP. Step 8. Swap in the cage user. The turn after the Luma has overexerted itself, swap out your tank for your cage user. Doing this after the Luma has overexerted itself ensures the cage user won't get hit by a move the turn it is swapped in. Step 9. Give the Luma status conditions. Make your cage user use cage and your Kinu use hypnosis. If your Kinu is fast, it can put the wild Temtem to sleep before it has a chance to attack your Temtem. Step 10. Throw cards. Keep throwing cards at the Luma until it is caught or until status conditions wear off. You can heal your cage user or Kinu during this time if they took a lot of damage before the Luma was put to sleep. If the status condition wears off, repeat steps 8 through 10. Step 11. Congratulations! You've caught a Luma that you can show off to your friends. That's all there is to it. I suggest practicing this technique on non-Lumas before hunting just to make sure you've got it down pat when the real deal appears. If this guide helped you catch your very own Luma, consider giving the video a thumbs up and leaving a comment telling everyone what Luma you caught. If you want even more Luma hunting tips and other Temtem content, subscribe and hit the bell icon, and I'll see you next time!